Well, hello there. How you doing? Welcome to the video. Nice to see you. How you doing? Sit right back, relax, and buckle up. It's time to boogie. Let the show begin. Only take a few minutes of your time. Make a smile, maybe giggle, or blow your mind. So do a little dance and like this video. Hello, everybody. My name is KR Speedy, and today I am joined by a special guest. We are here to complete this lovely house, and his name is DZ. You might recognize him from his very mature voice here. Hi, everyone. <laughs> We have a squeaker who builds on the server. He's a lovely person to play with. And today, we uh, worked on this during the live stream, but uh, the live stream had to be ended early because our server timed out, and then I switched to Counter-Strike. So we're actually going to finish this on a video, or at least get the shell of the building done today. I'm not sure. And BZ is here. He did a lot of work on this. I kind of worked on this side, and then he put this window on. He put a thing on the back, and he's just he's just killing it. And also, JT's in the call, so that's always good. And you I'm want mine? <laughs> And just so you guys know, uh, BZ is from the lovely world of Australia, and it's December there, it's 4 o'clock, and it's it's really nice to have a beautiful Aussie person join us today. You can tell he's Australian by his voice. It's too tight. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> switch your stupid voice changer off and let's get to this. Uh, one thing I did wrong in the stream... <laughs> it's so fucking confusing. Alright, and I... You just build, a, you just build your little butt off, alright? I will sure thing. I will work on that's his real voice, everybody. I wonder what people are are thinking about your voice during that uh beginning portion of that. Yeah, this is a good first impression. Oh, a great first impression. Is this a? I gotta ask, how many YouTube videos have you ever done? Because I know you were in Joel's video, right? Yeah, that was my first. I that think. was your first. Yeah. So now this is your second. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a virgin. You weren't cheating on us with anyone else. Not that I'm aware of, but I could have. Yeah, I kind of dicked myself. I don't have any tools or anything, so I'm gonna have to handbrake everything. Uh. <laughs> I have it. You want to take my axe? Yeah, sure. Most of the stuff we're doing is wood, so you take the axe. I can use my uh, big boy axe if I need to break anything. All right, what are we doing up here, BZ? Um, I figure I'm just going to do a bunch of like walls and windows and just try to keep the amount of roof down because you said there was a lot earlier. So yeah, the back roof's like really big, right? Yeah. Like this, kind of a monstrosity. It actually doesn't yeah. look too bad from the back here, though. It's just from that one side. I think actually, maybe this side looks great these... though, because you have that thing coming out of it. Maybe take these two lower rows of stairs off. I can do that. So do you want to break up like this side of the roof as well with another balcony window thingy magic? Yeah, let's do that exact same thing over there. All right. That would look good. In the lovely world of Australia, do you guys have maps that show that you're on top of the world? <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And Santa comes from Antarctica as well. <laughs> no, like I'm being serious. Do you guys actually have the maps that are upside down? No, it's no. We're the bottom. We're the southern hemisphere, so we're at the bottom. Okay, because I always heard a joke that you guys like would put yourself at the top of the map, and I didn't know if that was true or not. By the way, are you lagging balls like I am? No, I'm good. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Holy shit! I keep teleporting. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. I just saw you jump. Then. What the fuck? Is Santa really from Antarctica? Maybe something's lagging. I have no idea. All right, it's probably JT's shitty little ME system. It probably is. I have so much shit running. What is an ME system, by the way? It's just a giant chest that you can, it's like one little interface, you click on it and then it just, you can store as much shit as you want, as long as you have enough uh, storage containers or something like that. Oh, okay. And I'm you like... can search up items and there's like a crafting thing in, within you, it too. Are you at your house right now? Yeah. Because I might not, I might need to come take a peek at it. I might come take a peek. How's this thing right, work? Well, I gotta, this is, this is charging the thing that'll power it. Is that a Rubik's cube? Or a companion <laughs> cube? Pretty much. That is so cool looking. Oh god. Uh, click put it right here next to the <laughs> next uh, to the cable. Ooh. I'm turn on. So what is this? A dense energy Oh my god. And then click on this the interface or whatever. The top thing? Yeah. Oh my god. And then you can just search out what item you're looking for and it'll bring it up. So if I want like, I don't know, tree. Oh, there's not tree. Sapling. It should oh my god. Holy shit. Um Bone. Gee, this is retarded. Yeah, it's really good. How many rupees do I have to pay you to put one of these in my house? God damn. Uh, I don't know. I'm just joking. I don't need one. But this looks super, <laughs> this looks super hard to get, man. It really. Well, it wasn't really that hard. It was like it took because you needed like fine charge sort of course to get started. But since I already have a bunch of them, like I can just hand out or whatever. So you have now. Where are all your items at? Do you have like chests holding these somewhere? What do you mean? The like, where where do you put the items to get them to go? All oh, it's in this the left one. 
The drive? If you click on the drives, yeah, there's drives in there. And then within the drives are all the items. Wait, so it's like a fucking computer? Yeah, pretty much. What the fuck? <laughs> this is some fucking witchcraft, G. Two episodes ago, we were uh, in the Twilight Forest, and we were trying to break into one of the um, big, like, ah, what are they called? What was that black thing we were trying to break into, and we got this chest and everything? Um, the meteor? Yeah, the meteor. That's I almost said asteroid, but I knew that wasn't right. Uh, we broke into a meteor, and we were trying to find the chest in there, but the chest is actually, as you can see, the same color as the meteor. So I broke that and actually got two of these things, and that's what J18 was trying to find, and I had them the whole time, and I wasn't <laughs> aware of it until J18 told me like two days later, he's like, by the way, you got all the shit I wanted that night. <laughs> I'm like, what? I had no clue, so if you want to go back there and look at my misfortune, that'd be great. But yeah, thank you for the little tour, G. I, I, do you have any other cool things to show me? A vibration um, chamber? What the fuck? I don't even know where I am in your house right now. Is this a new... Oh! I hey, extended it out. Okay, that's Killed why I was so golem. confused. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, I still have your golem if you want him. <laughs> nah, it just brings too much space. It takes up too much space. Yeah, that's a good point. All right, back to the house. Um, I wasn't sure if you wanted to do like a split level sort of thing, I yeah, guess. Yeah, let's do a split level. Some... That'd be best. Where do you want the stairs to go as well? Maybe this corner here or something? Oh, uh, the stairs upstairs? Yeah. Um, I'm not opposed to a ladder even, just to like... That works. Safe space. Yeah, I, I don't really like stairs because they take up so much space and we don't have like a... Two... This bat's really pissing me off. He's gonna... I'm sorry, buddy, but... Got him. I love that noise. So yeah. Are we doing a spruce for the floor? I'm just play. I just sort of use it as a placeholder and then oh. when we want to go back through and clean it up. That's put something point. better down. This is a big ass porch by the way. We're gonna we're gonna be able to furniture the shit out of this guy. Maybe a jacuzzi or something and a table. Oh, if couple we get a plants. jacuzzi on this guy, I would be a happy fella. I'm not saying this is gay, but it's not straight. Yeah, I can only imagine what the comments are gonna be like, because the people are gonna comment BZ prior to hearing what your actual voice is and it's gonna be the funniest thing ever because you're gonna get those people that listen to the first minute of the video and they're gonna be like fuck this kid <laughs> i can't wait and there's gonna be a bunch of crocodile dundee jokes as well after that oh yeah of course and then there's gonna be i, I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of comments that have a little word edit next to them because they're gonna be like oh never mind just realized what he actually sounds like he passes he passes the test a lot of kangaroo stuff as well I think like Americans think that we ride kangaroos to work and it might be one of the more interesting comment sections yet it's definitely gonna be because now you sit in the pouch not ride them <laughs> see <laughs> there <Yeah>. you go <laughs> <laughs> what are the other Australian stereotypes um dingo ate my baby I guess is one that's definitely one yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh shit this, this and looks the, do, like... do you class you what made as an Australian thing, or is that something else? Yeah, I don't know. I I think it is. Or does that have a... Uh... It's a bit British as well, yeah, so I'm not Yeah, that's what I was going to sure. say. Is it... Yeah, it might be British. I'm not sure. Either way, it's going to be a very interesting experience down in the comment section. Really excited for it. It's gonna be some oh, me good too. Times. Me too. It's going to be some good times. This looks pretty good for me outside. Now, when I go inside, looks like a fucking chaotic mess of a roof gone wrong, right? But we're gonna no, we've, that got, at some we've point. got this. We've got this. We've got we just this? need some. Yeah, we've got this. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. We are back. BZ's been placing blocks. We got the outside pretty much done. The shell of the building. That was our goal today. We've got a sweet little roof over here covering the big windowy part of the top. This section over here might still need to be worked on. We tried to get rid of the bush over here, so that's still we're a little work in progress. But we got this working pretty good also people on the stream bz suggested we change the white door at the front to be one of those glass doors the blue glass the same thing you yeah, did in a yeah. stark uh, mansion do you want to give that a try real quick see if you can if that sure, looks good yeah i show out the rest of this and then we got this side looking very very nice i really like this window bz made right here that looks just perfect on there and then we got our porch in the back we have the white floor in here. It looks a lot of white right now, everybody. But when we come inside, all right, there's gonna be carpets. There's gonna be uh, furniture, and it's gonna break up all this white. So it's gonna look, it's gonna look balanced out hopefully by the time we're finished. And then we'll have all the plants and stuff on the outside. We have some paths coming around, maybe a jacuzzi like BZ hinted towards. It's gonna be some good stuff. So I'm very excited for it. BZ was kind enough to help us build through it. And this might just be a project where I keep bringing special guests to help me finish it out. But yeah, BZ, thank you so much for helping. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Of course, man. And I was... Hopefully they go easy on me in the comments section. Oh, I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. 
Oh, the doors aren't facing the right direction. You might want to fix that. Oh. Wait, did you there just use this thing to smack it to make it go the right direction? Yeah. I need to get it. Is that the carpenter's hammer? Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know if I like that. They don't really have much to it. There's no detail on it. It's a bit It kind of just looks clear. like another window. Maybe we go back to white. What do you think? What's yeah, the best option? Yeah, I say white. Also, I know I put, like, uh, what is this, sacred oak wood here to border the door. Do you think that's smart or not? Because it's the only place in the house it is. Um, it doesn't hurt. It's a bit like a different color, so it helps. All right. Yeah, I didn't know if like we should incorporate that somewhere else or not, but went and the duck there. hunt's got that color too. So yeah, that's where I, I drew a lot of inspiration, as you can tell, obviously by the exact same color palette. But that's exactly. I'm where excited. I, Don't worry. It's exactly where I got it from, because as you guys can see, it's right here. So that's where I got it from, and it looks great. This house really fits in with the area, obviously, because everything looks the same. Oh, that is. Let me get some distant shots of this. Oh yeah, that definitely, the white definitely needs to be there for the door. Yeah, much better. better, yeah. What if we took this top row here, the blue off? Uh, say that again? Oh! Like, take, take that off and open it up. Ooh, I like that. Is there a way to make it look... I don't have any slabs. Supported? Left. Yeah, because right now, like, maybe we bring that part up and put slabs right at this level. So it kind of like um, You could up. do more wood log pillars if you wanted as well. That also helps. Ooh, you want to give that a shot? And like then that. add some more blue to the top. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's what that's what I had in mind right there. Yeah, I really like that. So that breaks up the... That roof was like really just flat and didn't have any detail. Yeah, that, that, yeah, really that helps works. a lot. That definitely works. I like that. Also on stream, guys, I was hiding lighting with the glowstone dust and carpenter tools. So as you can see, it looks really light here because one of these has, one of these is a carpenter's block and I, I hit the glowstone on it, which BZ, you really like that shit because we're gonna be able to yeah, hide lighting like uh, crazy. These torches won't exist. It's gonna look like there's no torch. It's just gonna look like lights are on in a room, right? I still wanna use these decorative ones though, the ones I have out front here, just cause they look good. The fancy lanterns, they really fill it out. But overall, we can make this look really good and I'm excited. And then maybe we turn this house into something like we could build a few other houses with this, maybe, and like turn it into a little map we fight on. I'm not sure. The possibilities are endless. I don't know if you have any thoughts on that, BZ, but we can definitely make some. Um, I'd just say blow it up in some sort of game mode. That always is pretty Ooh. fun. We'll have to brainstorm on that. I really like the idea of blowing it up, too. So, BZ, I know we got a little sidetracked from saying bye to everyone because we got working on some roofs and stuff, but thank you so much for coming. Happy to have you here. Not a problem. No, that was fun. Thanks. BZ does a lot of behind the scenes works on the server to make things happen, guys. So show BZ some love. And we will see you guys next time. And also, say goodbye to J18, everybody. Because he was here too. Oh, we didn't put the stairs underneath this guy. In the back here. Although, I don't know if that would work because... Uh, maybe. Should we put stairs underneath? Oops. Yeah, sure. Go for it. <laughs> 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 I'm not saying this is gay, but it's not straight.